a very good morning we are the students of dr hari singh gaur vishwavidyalaya sagar madhya pradesh a topic for a presentation is phylogenetic relatedness amongst vertebrata the students parti- participated in this presentation are as follows the speaker one is radhika garg followed by simran parote and shreya lodi class nathostomata let let us proceed with the topic that is nathostomata nathostomata are the vertebrates that process jaws one of the most significant development in the earlier vertebrate evolution was the development of jaws which is which are the hinged structures attached to the cranium that allows the animals to grasp and tear its food the evolution of the jaws allowed the earlier nathostomes to exploit the food resources that were unavailable for the jawless animals the nathostomes evolved into the tetrapods amphibians birds and mammals If we see the earlier nathostomes that process two pairs of fins, a pectoral fin located in the interior body and the pelvic fin in the posterior section. The evolution of jaws combined with the pair of fins permitted the nathostomes to expand from the sedentary axis of suspension feeding of the jawless fishes and become the mobile predators. The nathostomes ability to exploit the new nutrition resources lead to their evolutionary success during the devonian period. The early groups of nathostomes were divided into two subgroups that is the acondian and the placoderm which arose which arose in the late surilian period and are now extinct. So the most modern nathostomes are the cartilaginous fishes and the bony fishes. If we conclude, if we conclude, the fishes are the world's most dominant vertebrates, and also they are the most diverse. Classification of superclass nathostomata. Superclass Nathostomata mainly includes jawed vertebrates and is divided into two classes. The first one is class Placodermy, which is now extinct, and the second one is class Unathostomata. The class Unathostomata is further divided into two classes, named as class Chondrichthyes and class Teleostomy. Chondrichthyes mainly includes cartilaginous fishes and class Teleostomy includes tetrapods. Again the class Chondrichthyes is divided into two subclasses. The subclass Plasmobranchii is monophyletic group and the second subclass Polycephaly have fleshy operculum that covers slits. Under the subclass Elasmobranchii, two orders are divided. First order is Squalonerpha, and second order is Batoidea. This was all about the classification of Nathostomata. Further, we go through general characters of Nathostomata. They have two well-formed jaws that encircle the mouth aperture in all members. of this group paired appendages are present but in some cases jointed appendages are also present calcified bony skull and vertebra are characteristic features of nathostomata all fishes amphibians reptiles mammals and birds are member of this group 
examples of Nathostomata are a Siberian tiger, a tiger shark, and etc. Moving towards the general characters of Placoderm. The class is extinct, but they used to have bony plates, paired fins, jaws and gill arcs were used to appear first. Some examples of Placodermy are Bengolepis of Silurian China and Silurian Placoderm and etc. Eugenthostoma. Some characteristics are part of second visceral arc formed, hyomandibula to support jaws, true teeth. Characteristics of teleostomy Bony operculum covers pharyngeal slits externally, gills not supported by internal branchial septum, branchiostegal rays. Characteristics of thighs: cartilageous skeleton, male intromittent organs, plecoid scales, teeth not fused to jaws, lipid filled livers, fin rays soft and unsegmented, swim bladder and lung absent, high concentration of urea and trimethylene oxide. Examples are Trion, Torpedo, Manta, etc. Characteristics of living elismobranchs, cartilaginous skeleton, gill slits, paired ventral nostrils, subdominal mouth, fin rays are unsegmented, plecoid scales, enlarged liver for buoyancy. Examples are clans, sawfish, etc. Two major groups of classed chondriopthys are Elismobranchi and Holocephali. Some subdivisions are Selicae and Petoidea. Subclass Helocephali characteristics. Small mouth aperture is guarded by jaws and lips. Gill slit partially covered by operculum. Skin is naked in adults. Examples are Calorynchus and Heriota. 